Chrome users often run across the oh, snap, error code status access violation message. Both Chrome and Edge are usually affected by this error. A quick and simple repair exists, which is good news. The status access violation error is easy to fix, and it usually only takes a few simple steps. Here are solutions that you can try. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, reload the page. The first thing you should do is refresh the page by pressing the F5 key on your keyboard or the refresh button on your Chrome browser. Next, close and load the browser again. For many people, restarting Chrome is a quick way to fix the status access violation error. If refreshing the page didn't help, you must do this. To restart Chrome, just close it normally and open it back up again. You can also close Google Chrome from the Task Manager by clicking the End Task button. Next, update the browser. Update Google Chrome to make sure you're using the most stable version. If your browser version isn't stable, you might have trouble browsing. To update Chrome, open Chrome. Click the three dots at the upper right. Select Help. Select about Google Chrome. If the browser is not updated at this time, you should see an option to update it. Next, give the Chrome browser a different name. Some people find that the status access violation error can be fixed by changing the Google Chrome executable file into something else. This is what you must do. On your keyboard, press Windows key plus E. Navigate to the installation folder of Google Chrome. The default path is usually C, Program Files, Google, Chrome, Application. Find the Chrome EXE file, right-click on it, then select Rename. Launch Chrome and check for the issue. Next, avoid using extensions. If you use browser extensions, you might want to turn them off right now. If you're using an ad block extension, for example, turning it off might make Chrome work normally again. Launch Google Chrome. Click the three dots at the upper right. Select Settings. Open the Chrome Extensions tab from the left panel. To turn off any Chrome extension, simply click on the toggle button for the set extension. Restart Google Chrome and check for the problem. Next, Factory Reset Chrome. If you keep getting the same error in Chrome even after turning off one or more extensions, you need to reset the browser to factory settings. To reset Chrome, follow these steps. Launch Google Chrome. Click the settings at the upper right. Click on Advanced in the left panel. Click Reset and Clean Up. Select Restore Settings to their original defaults. Click the Reset Settings button. Next, use another Chrome profile. Some Chrome users were able to fix this error by making a new user profile. Make sure that Chrome is open. Click on the User Profile icon at the upper right. Click the Plus Add option. To add a new profile, click the Sign In button. Next, delete and reinstall Chrome. Delete and reinstall Google Chrome if none of the other solutions worked. This will make sure that you have a clean copy of the software on the system as well as the latest version of the browser. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.